Hello, it's Amy again. So today I want to talk to you guys about salvation. A lot of you guys heard of it, especially from all the preachers out there. It's basically about getting your soul into heaven. Now, we had a very special person go to our school the other day. His name is Brother Michael. If you guys have heard of him, you know that he's a huge spectacle. He gets everybody around him, calls people whores, he calls them homos, he calls them sinners. He has a whole entire dance devoted to homosexuality, how it's okay to be a homophobe. Yeah, the guy's a little nuts. So I never really pay attention to him. I rather see how the crowd reacts. There's usually something going on. There's people wearing devil horns. There's people making out just to piss him off. There's people throwing lube at him. Always trying to get him to basically calm down, but instead they're just inciting him even more. The other day, actually, one of his lackeys got hit by a football player because he called the football player's mom a whore. Well, we don't know what happened, whether the guy pressed charges or not. Brother Micah said that he didn't. Now, on to another matter. The crowd itself. I usually kind of watch and listen just to get like a little sociological perspective. But there was this girl I know from class. I don't really know much about her other than the fact that she doesn't believe evolution existed or actually occurred because the Bible never talked about it. So after that, I kind of avoided her just because I felt she's a little stupid. But maybe she's just indoctrinated in her religion and she can't see past it. But she was over there listening to what Brother Micah said and she was crying. So I went up to her and I asked her what was going on. She said that he was misportraying her religion. That her religion's really about love. And that she wants to get her message out there. And she's crying because he's turning people away from God. Now at that moment... All my stuff about stupidity went out the window. I actually felt really bad for her. Like, so bad that, I don't know. It was just really weird. Especially since she was tearing up so much about what this guy was saying. And how he was portraying her religion. Now, my only issue with that is, I guess from the way she talks about it, is that she's a Christian. Now, if anyone knows Christianity... They could say that they're all about love and all good, but they allowed slavery to exist. The God even talks about it in the Bible. It allows rape. Well, at least the Old Testament does. If you marry the person afterwards, you're allowed to rape someone. Well, that's your punishment. It's marrying them. It also talks about, I don't know, killing people. All that stuff. It doesn't really sound that much about love to me. Now, I know people bring in the New Testament. And it's all about Jesus forgiving your sins, yada, yada. But then the only sin you can't forgive is blasphemy. You can go back from child molestation, murder. Adolf Hitler could have repented and go to heaven according to the religion. But someone who denies God's existence, someone who states that the Holy Spirit never existed, must go to hell. Now, I don't really get that, how that religion could be so much about love. If it's willing to send someone who denies their existence to hell Yet a child molester to heaven if he accepts God. That makes no sense to me. Maybe it is about love. Maybe it's about love of children. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. So scratch that. But I don't really see Christianity as being this loving religion. If I'm wrong, why don't you guys write me a message or comment. But if the Bible in itself is very violent and the same stuff that Brother Micah is quoting from the Bible, and she's feeling like it's unjustified, then I feel really bad for her. Because she must have never read the Bible to know that it is not just about love. It's actually extremely hateful. Whether you're a Jew or a Christian, God is not portrayed as a nice guy. He's portrayed as bipolar, always going off and on about different things, killing people for no reason, or just destroying the whole entire civilization and saving a couple people. Allowing incest to occur if you actually believe in the creation story. Because if God only created Adam and Eve, what's up with his kids? Did they have to do their mom or something? Oh, no, wait. Didn't they kill one of the sons? So there's only one son and three people to create the whole entire human civilization. It's a little crazy. But then again, she believes the world is only 6,000 years old. And so does Brother Micah, so I don't know. Anyway, have a good day. Just want to give you guys some words.